Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. The local housing market kicked off the new decade with home prices and sales increasing from the same time last year, but giving back gains made in December. So says a report released Thursday by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. The association reported that the median price of existing single-family homes sold in Southern Nevada through its multiple listing service, MLS, during January 2020 was 305000 That was down 2.6% from December, but up 1.7% from January of 2019. In 2019, union members accounted for 14.6% of wage and salary workers in Nevada, compared with 13.9% in 2018, according to a report issued by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Union membership rate for the state was at its peak in 1996, when it averaged 20.4%, and at its low point in 2016 at 12.1%. Nationwide union members accounted for 10.3% of employed wage and salary workers in 2019, down by 0.2% from 2018. Nevada has joined two other states in a lawsuit seeking to adopt the Equal Rights Amendment as part of the U.S. Constitution. Attorney General Aaron Ford's office said that they have filed civil rights lawsuits against the U.S. archivist to make it part of the Constitution. He says 38 states have ratified the Equal Rights Amendment making equality of all rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Nevada ratified the amendment in 2017. The child support changes approved by the Nevada legislator for 2020 will make it easier for those paying support and harder on those who are receiving it. The new formula for new cases across the state calculates money in three categories. Those earning less than $6,000 a month, those making between $6,000 to $10,000 a month, and those making more than $10,000 a month. The first two groups will be paying less in support. The idea is to give relief to those support payers who are economically struggling. According to the latest initial claims data from the Nevada Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation, initial claims for unemployment insurance totaled just over 12,000 in December, up 60 claims or 0.5% compared to last December. Compared to November of 2019, initial claims increased 14.6% or 1,530 more claims. I'm Laura Don, and this is your News Across Nevada.